Early morning sunbeams poured in through Rhubarb's kitchen window as he poured himself a glass of fresh Marlebone jelly juice and was about to tuck into a breakfast of baked bones on toast. Cluck! Cluck! There it goes again, thought Rhubarb, and then, just about able to hear himself think as he crunched, he realised that the clunk stopped when he started munching and began when he stopped. There it was, clunk. Can't hear it, can hear it, sighed Rhubarb, and as he munched his last morsel and sipped his last sip, clunk. There it was. Out in the garden, Rhubarb soon discovered the mystery clunk. He watched as it happened, right before his very eyes. Moggy Malone, Poodle Princess, and even Custard were playing lawn bowls. Ah, Rhubarb, come and play, sang Moggy Malone, as Poodle Princess gracefully bowled right down the centre lawn, ending up with a perfect clunk. That's it. Clunk, beamed Rhubarb. That's the clunk, and began to explain. Would you like to join us, darling, to play? asked Poodle Princess, and Rhubarb nodded excitedly and even clapped his hands. And while the others glanced, knowing looks, Custard whispered, clunk, and shrugged. The sleepy morning breezed along quite nicely until Rhubarb said something that made the others stop in their tracks and stare at him. What was that? I said, boring, explained Rhubarb. Boring? Boring? echoed the group. And so what would you suggest, darling? Poodle Princess wanted to know. Here we go, said Custard, and headed for the fence. And then he changed his mind. Come on, darling. What would you do about our game? Poodle Princess demanded now. Speed it up. Yeah, I'd speed it up a bit, nodded Rhubarb in an Olympic kind of way. Then, taking Custard's fizzy fish drink can, and gently setting it up on the manicured sword. He selected the largest bowl, aimed it, and set it on course for the empty tin can. Flat, do you see? As flat as paper. Now that's what I call exciting, Rhubarb explained, and the sporty group did show a glimmer of excitement. I think it was mean of you, Custard started when Moggy Malone stopped him. Oh, come off it, Custard. It was empty, and you know it. Wow, said Custard. It was my tin. So, when do you think that we could start this new sport? Asked Mouse, rodent scholar from Silicon Valley. You mean the speed bowling? Later today, Rhubarb replied calmly. Let's get rolling then, chuckled Mouse. And Rhubarb tapped a number into his bone phone. Just before midday, a gang of weasels turned up. Right, Gav. Where do we start, eh? A particularly sly-looking creature inquired. Over there, said Rhubarb in an official kind of way, and the building began. High building site fences covered in satin and with weasels written all over them had been put up around Rhubarb's shed. No need to see. It was the noise that told the story, and tell it did. The sawing, the hammering, and the drilling and the yelling went on relentlessly. Meanwhile, Rhubarb announced that speed bowling would begin at four o'clock, while the others just stared at each other. What had they agreed to? Not long before the weasel's fences came down, new enormous wheels atop the new great tower, now standing over Rhubarb's shed, began to turn. An arsenal of massive boulders, speed bowls, were hauled up and positioned ready for the colossal iron spoon that rocked menacingly atop the whole structure its steel-belted rubber band twanging impatiently now and again. Meanwhile, several wooden custard look-alike skittles had been set up at one end of what was now the bowling track. Test row one! Rhubarb barked through his trusty megaphone, and the iron spoon tipped, and the weighty speed bowl rolled into the yawning cavern of the chute. That's when the thunder started. That's when it happened. The heavy speed bowl rumbled down the chute, exploded from the mouth of the infernal machine, and tore a beeline straight down the bowling track towards the grinning wooden custards. Splash! Bowled over. The lot. 
Grinning, Rhubarb stood by the machine as the others sat under the old conca tree in combined silent shock. Well, said Rhubarb in a pleased as punch kind of way, what do you think of that? And nobody moved. Next, roared Rhubarb, and the spoon tipped and the second mammoth rock tumbled into the breach and the thunder rolled. Then it stopped mid-shoot. There wasn't a sound. Oh, must have hit a snag, Rhubarb thought out loud, and as nobody else seemed to know what to do, he borrowed Noel's mining helmet and stepped inside the monster. Oh, can't see a thing, he muttered, and switched on the helmet the very moment the thunder started up again. Now, where have I heard that before, Rhubarb thought to himself, when he spotted the huge boulder rolling down the tube. Good game, miss, said Custard, as Rhubarb roared down the bowling track, followed by the very large steel bowl. What was it called again? <laughs> Boulders. <laughs> mouse. And everyone <laughs> Whiz. The home of ABCs, 1s through 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz. That's how easy it is.